Hello, welcome to another episode of the Brew Review Crew. We are coming at you in a very special location. Oh, Corey, yeah. we are in the bowels, the depths, <laughs> the heart and soul of the Black Cloister Brewing Company in downtown Toledo, Ohio. Beer's being born, baby, right behind us. We have a treat for you today. Absolutely. Uh, and this is the 25th anniversary ale from Breckenridge Brewery. It's a vanilla porter aged in rum barrels. Ooh. Supposed to be amazing. Let's crack this open. Glub, 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 glub. <sighs> I don't think I've ever had a rum barreled beer. I know I've had them, but it's been a while, and we're so inundated with bourbon barrels. Right. You know, so right. a rum barrel is fun, and uh, I'm I'm excited to try it. Uh, a porter and a rum barrel, it should be great. It should have yeah. that spicy note to it. Right. I'll tell you what, though. Like tequila, rum is not my favorite of all barrels <laughs> or of all alcohols in general, so I'm... I'm going to keep that in the back of my mind as I go. I'll try and be a little bit more, you know, objective about it. But, I mean, if you add real vanilla beans to anything, I'm drinking it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, that's, that's an easy way to our heart is vanilla beans. So, <laughs> so why don't we uh, dip in, see how it smells. All right. Uh, I'm ready. It's got wow. A little... I like that. I yeah. like that. It's, it's, like, sweet. It smells a lot to me like brown sugar, like dark brown sugar. Uh, the rum actually comes out, Ooh. but in a nice way. It smells smooth as opposed to like harsh and alcoholic. I'll tell you what it smells like. I'll tell you right now. It smells like those little brownies you'd get with the little nuts on them. The, those oh, little yeah, like yeah, yeah. and the they're like plastic two, wrap. They're yeah, like they two, two little blocks of brownies, the little what? nuts on them. Man, that you're is, right. It is so chocolatey. Very chocolatey. And it it does have a little bit of a nutty aroma now that you mentioned that somehow. I think it might be like the woodsy, earthy kind of thing going on from the barrel. Um, the vanilla is pronounced. It smells great. It's like cocoa powder and vanilla, and I, I'm really, really enjoying what I'm getting out of this. That rum's not playing, though. It's there. Like, it is no, not playing high and seek. It's not playing. It's there. It's you can smell it. It is sweet. It's like a sweet, sweet smell. So I'm excited, yet a little scared and nervous. <laughs> I know. I know what you mean. But there's only one way to find out. I'm hoping this one's going to be amazing. Let's dive in. Cheers. Cheers. Instantly, Holy that mouthfeel, dough. I mean, Whoa. I, I almost choked on it. <laughs> it's just ridiculous mouthfeel going wow. on. And then you get this huge chocolate mm. punch and a huge rum punch. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. That, that rum hits you. And it's not alcoholic or like, like burning hits you, but the flavor hits you. That rum is there, man. That is a pronounced yeah. rum. But like you said, that mouthfeel dough. That, for a porter I mean, even. For a porter even. This is an interesting brew. I can honestly say I don't think I've ever had anything that tastes like this. Not at all. That rum, it's like sweet and at the very end has a weird bitter, kind of like a bitter chocolate bite. Almost like dark chocolate. But it's like this weird contrast that I'm not sure I love. The vanilla is there. I, I wish the vanilla was a little bit more pronounced. I think it's interesting. I think there's this just kind of tangy. It's like tangy. There's like a tangy there's a tanginess. I, I think that might, I don't know how to describe. I th tang is a really good way to describe that. There's like a weird tangy lactic thing going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, think, I hear you. I think it's like it's, it's lactose like Greek, sugar. Like Greek yogurt. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Like there. Greek yogurt, kind of like this weird tanginess to it, like a lemony kind of tanginess, and I don't. I don't know, I don't if it know was how lactose. it fits in. I don't know <laughs> if it's lactose, but I would not be surprised at all if it was. Right. Because I don't quite understand it and I don't quite know how I feel about it, I don't feel like I can quite give this one an A. But I enjoy the interestingness of it. I, I like the fact that it kind of makes – it throws me for a loop. But then again, I can't drink a full bottle of it. So I'm going to go 83. I'm going to give this a question mark plus. Put that down here. <laughs> Jeez. I'm giving you cop out answer. I'm Give me it, an answer. It's a question. I want it. Question mark plus. <laughs> I like it, but it's a mystery. I can't even give it a fair rating. I really can't. This is one of those beers that I would think if it was at a beer festival. Yes. I'd be like perfect beer festival. I would say, beer. wow, this might be best in show because it's so unique. Yeah. I, I would say yes. It's a yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. B and above. I don't know. B, I, okay. I, I don't know. Somewhere in that range. Wow, Breckenridge, I got a hand it to you. This one is unique. I don't know if you can get your hands on this or if you have already. 
if you can seek it out look for it try it tell us what you think in the comment yes. section below because we're really curious to hear what you have to say about yes. this because we obviously couldn't formulate a great opinion a sentence it's it's both good and bad in such dramatic ways to me that i don't quite know how to take it so it's so different so it's so different tell us what you think until next time always remember we're the brew of you crew we'll review a brew for you cheers cheers even if we don't you know it's a, it's a mystery a good one. it's a mystery there's worth this seems like a lot of this beer <laughs> it's way too much of this beer like i have my idea of it i've tasted it i don't really want to finish it. it's a little overpowering in every single sense of the way 